Here we have the Nikon D3X with the 50mm f1.2 mounted, um, currently showing at f4. Uh, this is a lens that has a tremendous amount of uncorrected spherical aberration and that results in focus shift and we'll be able to see this live in this video. Uh, the the uh, lens is currently at f4 and I focused it on the 10 mark and let's take a look at what happens when I make it at f when I open the lens up. This is f2.8 this is f2 this is f1.4 and this is wide open. Now wide open observe that the 10 is now quite blurred. It was sharp at f4 and that's not because it's f4 it's because the, the sharpness has shifted and if we if we zoom in here a little bit more we can see at the 10 mark it's it's totally blurred but the reason is that just to the left of the 10 mark it's sharp if we scroll left we can see the zone of sharpness is ahead of the 10 now and that's focus shift let's stop it down again looking here at the 10 mark and watch what happens this is f12 we're looking at right now here's f14 you can see it shifted back a little bit f2 it's a lot better at f2 more than half the spherical aberration is gone f28 looking good f4 looking really good so we're right back to where we started i'm going to do it put it quick back to f12 you can see how blurry it is there but i'm going to refocus it now at f12 and we'll see well, F12 has a lot of spherical aberration, so it's a bit hazy, a bit confusing. Let's put it at F14. That'll help us a little bit. Sometimes it is better to focus just slightly stop down with these fast lenses for that reason. So there it is focused at F14. You can see that uh, that's about as sharp as it's going to get wide open. I'll try again here. Essentially, that's what we've got. Now, if we now take this and stop it down what happens watch carefully f14 f2 f28 it's going blurry f4 the focus has moved rearward f5 6 if we scroll to the right you'll see that the zone of sharpness is now most crisp on the 11 not on the 10. It's moved a full inch and a half, eh, about an inch back backwards. Let's open it up again. See it's quite blurry at the 11. Stop it down. It's quite sharp. Go back to the 10. You can see the 10 sharp here. Open it up. That's where we focused. Stop it down to F4. Refocus. There we are. Stop it. Open it up to f1.2. It's all blurry. That's focus shift. And so if you're shooting at f4 or f5.6 and you're focusing wide open, which is typically the case, you're not going to get a sharp picture where you expect it. What's going to happen is the sharpest zone of focus will be behind where you focused wide open. So something to keep in mind, especially if you're using a tripod, in this case with an f22 lens, I'd recommend focusing at f28, maybe f4 if you're shooting in that range. Or if you're shooting at f2, focus at f2. If you're shooting at f14, focus at f14. Handheld, obviously, there's not much you can do, but what you can do is try to bias it slightly forward when you're focusing wide open if you're going to stop the lens down. That way you can at least compensate slightly for it. 